viewers, I'm Jane, the ultimate Filipina. Today's episode is my compilation of reasons for clothes that my subscribers sent me that were red flags. Their Filipina was screwing another foreigner. Let's get started. Number one, she stopped wanting sex with him three times a week. When he asked her why the change, she is focusing on bigger and better things. Number two, he took her to an expensive resort steakhouse on her birthday and the waiter asked if she wanted her usual medium rare New York sirloin stick. Number three, he noticed when making love to her on many occasions, she had her mobile in her right hand and was reading messages. Number four, she informed him she would not be sleeping over for a while because her daughter needed help with her homework. Problem was, school had ended for the summer. Number five, he took her to a foreigner's wedding, and before he could introduce her and tell her name, several unfamiliar men said, Hi, Jennifer, introduce me to your date. Number six, she called him and told him she was her home island of Olango for two weeks and would see him upon return. An anonymous friend sent him pictures of her in a bikini on Palawan, Bohol, and Boracay Island with a well-known British YouTuber. Number seven, he asked her to cut his toenails and she told him to retrieve them from her purse. She forgot to remove the tube of lubricant inside and he never needed lubricant to have sex with her. She lied that the lubricant was for her virgin sister, who had a new boyfriend. The problem was the tube was almost empty. Number 8. She stopped moaning loudly during sex like before. She started humming the Philippines national anthem and counting her fingers. Number 9. She stopped giving him oral sex because she said she had a sore throat that she couldn't get rid of. Her throat was sore but not from the usual causes. Number 10. She stopped holding his hand like before whenever they were at the mall or walking in the park. She instead held her purse tightly. Number 11. She stopped wanting to eat at Jollibee's, food carts, or McDonald's like before. Instead, she wanted a restaurant cafe, or private dining. This is a big red flag. Number 12. He wanted to vacation with her to Boracay, Palawan, and Bohol, islands she never visited, and she told him she was not interested in those islands anymore, and preferred Baguio and Tagaytay. He asked why and she said they were overcrowded and disappointing. Number 13. He asked her to cut his tunnels, and she responded, I just cut them last night. They had not seen each other for several days. Number 14. He asked her to make his favorite omelette for breakfast, which was ham and cheese. She made him a vegetable omelette instead. Number 15. She stopped asking you for her monthly allowance and treated you to dinner on several occasions. She stated she saved her allowance and never spent it. The subscribers told me they ignored the red flags because they were in long-term relationship and plan on marriage. Filipina are not good at lying consistently and often leave close or undeniable evidence of improper behavior. I know some of the reasons are humorous, but some lies and red flags of a cheating Filipina make you laugh instead of crying. I don't need to tell you that Boti is not ultimate Filipina. I'm Jane, the ultimate Filipina, wishing you an ultimate day, an ultimate life in the Philippines. Take care. Bye.